here at the AII Center at in Collingwood. Uh, the team's having breakfast, as you can see, getting themselves ready to um, take on Geelong later on this afternoon at Port Melbourne for the uh, RecLink 2023 Grand Final. Footy obviously is the main main driver of the program, but the people. Um, it always, for me, came back to the people, their stories, where they come from, why they're here, and you know, if we can help them in any way possible. But uh, yeah, the footy, the footy is, a, is probably the, the fun part about it. But connecting with people, and you know, you'll you'll see them throughout today. They're just yeah, they're awesome, awesome guys. This club will continue to support our community. And that's one of our key pillars. All right. So we're here to win together. Um, that's what we want to do, win together and it starts with you lot. I wish you all the best, I can't thank you enough and just look after yourselves and uh, let's keep battling along, alright? Good luck today. It's just such a great space helping people who otherwise feel marginalised in other areas of their life. So being able to come and celebrate everything that Reckonlink is is so important. We, we preach one club and this is a really great opportunity for us to actually live it up. And um, I think the, it means so much to the Reckonlink people that uh, we do get down and show our support. And it really bridges that gap that there is between um, some of the teams that under the Collingwood umbrella, so um, just being able to have more representation from all of our programs um, and a bit more overlap is, um, you know, celebrating the one club culture that we're trying to create. So we're more than just footy uh, community programs, so we embrace uh, young people and adults that are maybe struggling in the community from socio-economic disadvantaged backgrounds and just engage them through a football program and just leverage off that. The positive impacts on mental health and well-being for young people, um, staying out of contact with the police and um, accessing housing, support options, headspace, counselling and employment, they're really big benefits to the program, so it's been incredible. I see a lot of young, uh, vulnerable kids that are, you know, like, you know, they haven't really had much, like, support at home and stuff, and then, you know, like, having them in the program um, and, like, over the years, just watching them grow, you know, I jumped over because I was living closer to Collingwood and then, yeah, just since then it's always felt like home and I've stuck around.